All right, I'm, I'm so tempted to like hold off a moment to, to explain this intro of what we're about to watch. <laughs> First, what, while, the, while this rolls, let me, let me uh, go, go over the couch here. We have uh, Shia Bun. We have Buff Pup. Here I am, I'm ready. Our, our, our real fitness expert right here. <laughs> I'm and ready I, to be fit as ever. And then because it's Muscle March, we have Nautilus the Space Otter. And we're, this is, this is what we're going to be doing. It's uh, kind of a gimmicky, like, it's a little we wear game. Uh, we play as some very fit uh, individuals. <laughs> some very fit oh my, individuals. Sorry, I got, I got memorized <laughs> by these dances. I want to learn these. Oh, I know, right? We, we should have practiced these beforehand. <laughs> Um, we're going to be playing as the Polar Bear and Speedo, of course, and we're doing uh, the village level uh, for time, uh, for, for more or less good. All right, I guess uh, three, two, one. All right, so this game has a plot, like, which sounds crazy, but it does. Uh, this guy stole our protein shake, and we're going to go get him. Oh, accurate. <laughs> a problem you've probably dealt with many times. I deal with that all the time. It's awful. So if you've probably seen like you know the, the Japanese like hole in the wall kind of game uh, that's what we're up, we're up to there's only four positions there's just up down on each side uh, it starts pretty chilled for every level and it ramps up very quickly by the end um, it's very intense so you know just run through walls with our buds oh there he go bye the game has an absolutely killer soundtrack there's like four songs but they're all really good <laughs> There's like bananas that trip everyone up, so we're gonna eventually be the last one. And I won't, I won't spoil the rest. It's, it's a Wii Wear game, there's only three levels total. Uh, there's the there's a village, there's like a city, and then there's the space level. I was really tempted to do space, but it's actually like by far the hardest level, and it's, I was looking for consistency. <laughs> These are hard. How do you learn how to do these? The polar is like going crazy. It gets worse because they start faking you out. Uh, that's that's gonna happen more like in the second level and on. See like, see, like oh, that. there you go. Oh. You keep an eye on it. <laughs> Super. Got him. Very accurate to a real life and workout. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yeah, you get yeah. piled at the end. That's how you finish, like <laughs> finish your workout. All right, so now we're chasing this guy because he, you know, that guy got tackled. Passed the protein shake on to this other thief, and off we go. Fortunately, all our friends are back. It's okay, you have brilliant form. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> oh, the, the, uh, the, mu the music speeding up with like the, the game is like, it's all intense. And very dramatic if you fail. I'm gonna, hopefully, hopefully this goes well. I'm not, so, if, so, some of you might have tuned in for Silent Hill Homecoming, which I also ran uh, like two nights ago. Uh, I, I am a survival horror speedrun. <laughs> yes, this I is promise. perfect. <laughs> Just, just also, also this sometimes. <laughs> All right, so as soon as like, yeah, as soon as we lose the last guy, then it ramps up really quickly. The hard parts are when, uh, if you like go through a wall, and then like by then the next shape is already there, then it gets really tricky. Of course, it's a WiiWare game, so it's Wii controls, so it's kind of finicky. Oh, that was good. Okay. Nice. So far, so going, in, going into the last section, like, with full health is so nice. <laughs> okay, so there, there's, see, there it goes. Oh! So this is actually, like, the last, the final boss for every level. Uh, I, I imagine there might be some more lore to this. It's hidden there. It, I, it, it's somewhere. Yeah, but I play Silent Hill games, so I'm sure there's, like, I assume every game has, like, tons of lore, right? I'm assuming it's just as scary, too. It's, it's going to be, like, a terrifying lore. All right, so naturally all the landscapes get really crazy. <laughs> Just a banana in the waterfall somehow. Really good 
RNG, holy crap. Oh no. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got it. Here it is. Yeah. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Did it. it that, last, that last one's really hard, and if you mess it up, you have to do like another big cycle. Whew. Oh yeah. Hey. We didn't prepare enough for this dance, but you know, <laughs> we did our best. Okay, so that 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 is the end of muscle. We get a little ranking here, uh, almost perfect. But... That's muscle march. I guess uh, ready to go, guys. Ready to go. Ready to go. Can't wait to work out later. I, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Techie. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> yeah. I feel bomb. <laughs> up next, guys, we're going to have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild run by Orchestra. They're going to be setting that up soon. Uh, until then, we'll get through a couple of donations here. We actually have a uh, $5 donation from Sonic the Hedgehog. It says, PUBG's old news, Eggman. Tetris 99 is where it's at. We got another $50 donation from Anonymous. It says, let's make this Tetris 99 thing happen, GDQ. I'm ready for battle. We got another $50 from Axren. says, love GDQ. And this is the first one I've been able to watch most of it live. Also love the great cause of able gamers and what they do for gamers who can't always do what they love. And with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and toss it over to Sint while he uh, tells you about some fantastic prizes that you can win. Take it away, Sent. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, someone, someone else was supposed to come on behind me and do the muscle. You, you know what? Let's just uh, forget that happened. We're, we're all good. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Games Done Quick Express 2019. My name is Sent, uh, and I'm here to tell you guys about some wonderful prizes that you can win. Uh, but you got to get your donations in right now. All the prizes I'm about to talk about end as soon as that Breath of the Wild run starts. So make sure to get your donations in ASAP if you have not already this morning. Now, we got a couple of really cool things for you. Uh, from our good friend NES Jumpman, we have this adorable little uh, Super Metroid Morph Ball, uh, you know, stress ball. You can squeeze it, makes you feel better. I think every Metroid runner should have one of these, you know, like, oh man, I failed Alcatraz. You just, you just give it a squeeze, or oh, oh man, Spore Spawn killed me. I'm not a very good Super Metroid runner, uh, as you can tell. Uh, anyway, we'll just put that back in the box here. That's a $5 minimum donation from now until the start of Breath of the Wild. So again, remember, get those donations in ASAP. Now, from the very talented ma ah, musician, not magician, although he is kind of a magician of music, we have the Super Time Force Ultra uh, Vinyl uh, 6955 uh, donated to us, guy behind the soundtrack of the game. Super cool, a lot of great chiptune stuff. Uh, absolutely love it. The vinyl looks beautiful. Let me see if I can just pop it open real quick and show you the actual uh, discs. Uh, oh, yeah, you even get a nice little, little storybook thing on the inside. I love it. Looks great. Uh, this is a, also only a $5 minimum donation from now until the start of Breath of the Wild. So, I mean, hey, get your donations in ASAP. Also a $5 minimum donation is we have this beautiful Mega Man Perler sent to us by Lee C. Um, you could think of it two ways. This is either Mega Man uh, using the Leaf Shield power-up, or this is Mega Man from Captain N, the Game Master. I really hope it's Mega Man using the Leaf Shield power-up, and let's just leave it at that. 
$5 minimum donation, make sure to get in on it. Now, speaking of rare oddities and WTF Japan block, we have Shovel Knight. But not just any Shovel Knight, this is Shovel Knight for the PS Vita. Is it rare for the PS Vita? I don't know. It comes straight from Yacht Club, Club Games Closet, and it could go straight into your PS Vita for a $10 minimum donation. Um, hey, it's a great game. It's a, it's a cool system, I think. I think it was supposed to be a phone at one point. I, I don't know. But you can play Shovel Knight on it, and you should play Shovel Knight on it. $10 minimum donation. Thank you, Yacht Club Games, for that. Uh, from our friends over at Studio Pin Pin, we have this beautiful uh, Katamari drawing. I'm holding it upside down, but that's, that's fine. Really, uh, space is relative when it comes to Katamari and whatever you're rolling. In fact, I'm going to roll the painting live. So there you go. You're getting the real Katamari experience right now. Uh, pound for Pound, of course, the most sophisticated speed game out there. And Pound for Pound, the most sophisticated drawing. A $10 minimum donation. Make sure you get those donations in bef ah, before the start of Breath of the Wild. Guys, we have all kinds of amazing prizes you could win. Like for a $15 minimum donation, you could win a Donkey Konga prize pack. It comes with a GameCube. And not just one, but two, three, four bongos. Uh, that you might be asking, why do you only have one bongo? I'm not, I'm not going to carry four bongos to California. I'm, I'm sorry. Have, have you seen these things? They're great. Uh, but you get four bongos, you get a Nintendo GameCube, you get a copy of Donkey Konga, and you know what? I'm even going to throw in a copy of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat because I have six copies of that game. Why do I have six copies of that game? Don't ask. Just donate $15 and maybe you could win one. Uh, of course, we also have our amazing prizes that are running throughout the entire event. Uh, for $30, you can get yourself into winning a custom GDQX 2019 banner done by our own in-house artist, LLK. It's absolutely gorgeous. It just oozes with her style. And again, there's only one that's ever going to be printed. You could have a one-of-a-kind piece of GDQ memorabilia $30 minimum donation. And of course, last but not least, our grand prize, an amazing Spyro-themed Nintendo Switch sent to us directly from Activision. It's a $50 minimum donation. The thing looks great. Uh, you're not going to be able to go down to the Spyro the Dragon store and buy one. you got to give us a $50 donation if you want the chance to win one, uh, I presume. Unless you know of a Spyro the Dragon store, in that case, hit me up on Twitter. I'd be interested. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be just about it for me. As always, you're going to want over to head, head over to gamesdonequick.com Check out the tracker. It's going to have all the information you need on upcoming prizes, on upcoming speedruns, and of course, on upcoming incentives you can put those donations towards. Uh, as always, I've been sent. My hair's been a mess. And let's throw it back up to the front for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with Orchestra. That means transition. Thank you for the long and awkward pause, Sen. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I'll be your host for the next run. Before we get into it, I do want to let you all know, did you know that Tetris is a video game? And in fact, it's a video game that you could be watching directly after this if you donate. You see, we're raising money for able gamers right now. And uh, we're about $7,000 short from the, our bonus game of Tetris 99 Battle Royale. If you've never seen a Tetris speedrun, they are genuinely the most, like one of the most calming things actually that I've ever seen. Just seeing them played perfectly is incredible. And uh, it is currently, what, I've been awake since two in the morning. So you want me to fall asleep. I do. <laughs> So get your donations in for that, friends. Let's get that train rolling. And next up, we do have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with Orchestra. So don't go anywhere. We're getting that set up. I have a few donations here I'll read for y'all. $50 from Archduke of the High Bears. Breath of the Wild has been one of my favorite games since its release. Can't wait to see this, the Shrine run.
Our other big donation incentive right now is Super Mario 64 Randomizer. Uh, we're having it nonetheless, but we could upgrade it to 120 star, which, trust me, you all want that. Speaking of which, here's $15 from Anonymous. Please, for the love of the baby penguin, let's get that 120 star. I don't know about that. That means that we get to, you know, actually deal with that baby penguin and accidents can occur. Don't go anywhere, friends. I'm going to play a quick Twitch ad and then we'll be ready to roll it. <laughs> 